what is Mercedes going to do with that extra seat? Is it going to be Kimmy Antonelli? Because they're all roads lead, like all roads for Aston Martin lead to Adrian Newey. It seems like all roads in Mercedes does lead to Kimmy Antonelli. And I don't know. He's been doing quite well lately. And Scott, he mm-hmm. seems to be ready. To, I think he's ready. I mean, he's not leading F2. He's only won one race. Then he won one sprint race. But that pass at Spa, and you were there, that pass in F2 at Spa was quite amazing. Yeah. Up to the video. Yeah. Here's the thing about uh, Kimmy. Um, the test data on Kimmy, from what everyone is saying, is off the charts. When he did a test against George Russell and Michael, Sh- and, and excuse me, and Mick Schumacher at Silverstone in the W13, his race pace was reported to be faster than George Russell. His quality pace was the same, but his race pace was faster than George Russell in the W13. Same car, same track, same day. And what you're hearing from the insiders at Mercedes, what they're telling the press, you know, maybe they're lying, they're not releasing the test times, is that this young man's test data and lap times are on par or faster than their race drivers. They said uh, in the W12, uh, his lap times were on par with Lewis Hamilton uh, when they put him on the same car at Imola. So that's pretty, I mean, again, does he have the race craft or the tire management? Of course not. But you can't teach pace. You either have it or you don't. It's a God-given gift once you've figured out how to drive a race car. You're either fast or you're not fast. Um, he apparently is really fast. And What, what do you think, Paul? How, 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 um, I mean, when you hear okay. about Kimi Antonelli, and I think last show we showed the pass that he did at En Rouge, which was quite ballsy, to be honest. And, the, and it was wet. And Scott was there, and Scott got to witness it in person. Did you Have you met Kimmy, by the way, Scott? I did meet Kimmy in the paddock on Spawn Sunday. We spoke for about 30 seconds. Uh, so I got to – I actually have some pictures of it. <laughs> but we um, – my wife was kind enough to take some pictures of it. But he's very together. He's different than Ali Behrman. Ali Behrman, who I've also met – I had breakfast with Ali Behrman. In Montreal uh, during the Grand Prix of the Ritz Carlton, they're different. Um, Ali is more like the mayor. He's a magnetic personality. Uh, Kimmy is a little, he's super likable, but he's a little more serious than Ali. Ali's just beaming with a smile. Kimmy's a little more serious, very friendly, polite, more, a slightly more Oscar Piastri, but, a, but in the Italian version, but a, a little more serious than Ali. Like, like, Paul, what do you have to say about Kimmy Antonelli in the Mercedes Benz seat I, next to George Russell? Okay, so first of all, cut to the video of Kimmy overtaking on the inside in the F2 race. <laughs> there you go. There's a slice for you. And, and the other one is um, I have a great fear of what Mercedes is going to do. So is let's just say that their Mercedes are on a good climb right now. And we've just had two wins. And I fear that if they bring in a rookie and whatever you do, he's still a rookie. <clears throat> he has not done a year in Formula One yet. So I have a fear that it will either cause them on a on a moment where they're climbing back. So let, let's just go back to the moment here, which is you get the rule changes and we're in the middle of those four years. So we've got 2025 where it's going to be potentially a good year for Mercedes until the rule changes and it's all reset and everybody starts over in 2026. You put a rookie in there and he has some crashes, thrills and spills and the potential of winning that championship that year could be gone because you need both drivers to be chasing it. So I have I have fear of bringing in Kimi. However, um, I also know, and I think it needs to be noted that it's been publicly shown that uh, Toto's only signed to be there till 2026. Okay, and, and I didn't say whether that's the beginning of 2026, the middle, or the end of 2026. But Toto was only there technically till 2026, and he said back in 2022 he was considering taking a step back. 
So I'm just wondering, is Toto making the right decisions for the team, for the future at this time? And putting it all in the hands of a rookie could be a risk. Um, and I don't know. I you know this is up to this is up for debate and it's up for let's get the kid in the seat and let's see how he goes. But I have concerns. I don't think that's right. I think it should be in a safe pair of hands for 2025. And Kimmy should be in another race seat for 2025 in Formula One. Uh, but I think he should be in a different race seat for the moment. And again, I'm going to tout for someone like Bottas to be safe pair of hands for one year while they turn, they have a potential. If they have a potential of winning more races in 2025, Bottas and George would be a far safer pair of hands right now than a rookie. Now, one thing I want to ask before we move on to Scott really quickly, Paul, is the stress and the stress management of being a team principal. And you could see that it takes a toll. I mean, Christian Horner is the longest running principal right now. And then I would think it would be total next. Am I right? I think it's total next. And with that pairing that he had with Lewis for so long, and now Lewis going to Ferrari, could you see Toto stepping down? And he's a billionaire. He doesn't need the money. Exactly. Could you see him stepping away, hanging out with his kid? Because I know his kid does carding and just just being a father and just stepping back for a bit. Could you 100%. see that happening? Hundred percent. He he was extremely wealthy when he bought shares in Williams. He then sold out of Williams and he went and he bought in thirty three and third percent of Mercedes race team, and he has turned that from what was a couple of hundred million into a couple of billion. He has said publicly that he's had some and, and struggled with mental uh, scenarios for many years. Um, and he was going to sort of half step back and let somebody else run the team a year and a half ago. Then he stayed, and I believe he stayed because of Lewis as well. And now Lewis is gone, and I think that he's shaping up to leave. He's got a young kid. His wife is running uh, the, the female championship, and she's brilliant, uh, Susie Wolf. Um, and I think that he would be happy to take a step back. He doesn't need the money. Scott, why don't you chime in? I don't think he's good. I don't think he's good. I think if he was going to step down, James Vells would not have left uh, Williams. James Vells was the designated successor. Um, he was being groomed. And I don't think James Vell would have ever left for Williams if Toto had said, I'm leaving in a year or two. I, I, I think, frankly, in bringing Kimi Antonelli, Toto is writing the wrong that he feels he did to Mercedes by not taking a young Max Verstappen by saying no, and by keeping Nico Rosberg instead of putting Max in and losing him to Red Bull. And I think the reason that he's putting Kimi in now is he doesn't want to repeat what he saw as a bad mistake. And I think he wants to win with Kimi Antonelli and hopefully, in his mind, not George Russell, but Max Verstappen. His dream team going forward is not George Russell. It's Max you Verstappen and Kimi Antonelli. You touched on a point, and I, I was going to end this segment, but I got to jump in on that one. George Russell cannot lead this Mercedes team to the promised land. How many times do you people have to see it? You can watch every race and see it. He cannot lead Mercedes to the promised land. He is not Lewis Hamilton. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop comparing these all-time greats, Lewis Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Max Verstappen, to Lando Norris and, and George Russell. These guys are good, but they're not great. They're not. The guys like Lewis Hamilton, guys like Max Verstappen only come once in a generation. These other guys aren't once in a generation talents. Stop trying to prop them up like they are. Okay. George Russell doesn't even have as many wins as Carlos Sainz. Come on. Stop it. George Russell is <laughs> very good. And he's getting better. You saw that at Spa, but I know. Do I think he's Max, Max or Lewis or Fernando? 